Hello, this is a quick demonstration of what you can do uh, with iLogic and an Excel spreadsheet. And what we're going to do today is take a look at this part and see how it can report on ex its extents uh, and then compare that to an Excel spreadsheet right here of height and width. And then that will uh, spit back to me the stock size required to kind of round it up and give me the stock size without me having to go look it up, measure the part every single time I change it. So first what we'll do is show that the part file has an empty stock number. Nothing's there. Okay. Next, I'm going to run one rule just to show a basic example of these are the XYZ, the total extents, um, the width, the Y, and the, uh, the Z. Just reporting that actual value uh, of size. Next, if we run my full stock list rule, it's reporting those, except this time it's assigning them to a height, length, and width. These message boxes uh, can be suppressed. They're just here for um, troubleshooting and display of what's happening. It's going to find row 336 right here, 2 and half by 3 and a half, and then report the stock size, 2 and a half, 3 and a half, and then the uh, longest length is reported as our cutoff length and rounded out to the nearest eighth of an inch. We'll now take a look at the I property, and it's filled out, formatted however we want, and then this works on any part file. So, for example, if I were to start a brand new part, and we'll just rough out some approximate shape, extrude it, there. Even choose to uh, place on this face. Um, another piece here. Extrude this. Down to there. And now, again, I can just run this tool. Again, this part has brand new from scratch, no data into it whatsoever, but when I run the rule, it reports the size, gives me a row of 326, and it reports my stock size, and gets spit into my I property. Um, the code can be in one location, so it works for all parts, um, and then works on any part depending on the uh, size of your spreadsheet. I hope this helps. Uh, understanding and uh, let, let us know what Tata Technologies if you have any questions.